Hi, Jason at Paint Sprayers Plus, and in this product spotlight, I'd like to highlight our Aerojet HVLP Turbine Spray Gun. Now, this turbine spray gun is for non-bleed systems only. It will not work on bleed style. Now, many of you have probably heard, you know, bleed, non-bleed in, in the turbine uh, arena. And uh, basically what that means is a non-bleed system, when you let go of the trigger, both air and material stop coming out of the front of the gun. On a bleed style system, when you let go of the trigger, material stops, but the air continually flows. And so this will only work on a non-bleed system. Also as well, it will not work on a compressor. The gun is designed specifically to run off of a turbine uh, and the fitting here at the bottom is for a three quarter inch quick connect. So again, it will not work on a compressor. So what I'd like to do is take just a couple minutes and go over some of the features of the gun itself and then I'll do a couple spray uh, demonstrations for you. So let's go ahead and go over the gun features. Okay, so let's go over some of the basic functions of the spray gun itself. We'll start off here on the front. On the front of the gun, we have the air cap. The air cap does a couple things. One, it atomizes the finish, so it gives us our, our uh, spray fan. And uh, two, it sets the direction of our spray fan itself. So in the position that you see it in there, it's uh, in a uh, horizontal. This is going to give us a vertical spray fan. It's always opposite of what you see these two uh, kind of horn things here. So if I was going to be spraying side by side, we'd probably want to set it in this position. And then we can turn it to the um, vertical position. This is going to give us a horizontal spray fan. This is good for up and down spraying. That's kind of the air cap and with its functions. Moving on behind that, you'll see this clear tube with a valve in it. Uh, what this does is this allows some of the air from coming from, from your turbine uh, flows through this one-way valve and into the cup here. It pressurizes up the cup and helps push the paint up and then out through the gun. You do want to make sure you have some of these extra uh, check tubes on hand because just through normal use you'll turn the gun and paint will get up the tube and it'll clog this little valve here and once once pressure is no longer um, in the cup, uh, well, you're done spraying for the day unless you've got some of these on hand. Uh, moving on here to the trigger. This is a two-stage trigger. So how this works is gently pulling back just a little bit will only allow air to come out. So you can kind of pull back and uh, maybe blow off any uh, dust or debris that might be on your project. And then pulling it back the rest of the way will release uh, the material along with it. So the first stage is just air, second is uh, material. On the back of the gun here, they have two knobs. We'll start off with the top knob. This is your fan control knob. Uh, and when it's in the vertical position, this gives you its widest spray fan. And then turning it horizontally will give you your uh, smallest or narrowest spray fan. And then below that is the uh, material control knob. This is what controls how much material is let out of the gun. So by turning this all the way in clockwise, we'll shut off uh, all material coming out of the gun. And then as we slowly open it, uh, more and more material will be allowed out of the front of the gun. So it's really good and you can fine tune that in to allow just the right amount of material between, between uh, the fan control and the material control. You can really uh, keep your overspray down and uh, kind of dial this gun into uh, you know the project that you might be doing. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do some, a little spray out demonstration uh, and see what uh, these all these knobs do when uh, there's some paint in the gun. Okay, now that we've seen some of the basic functions of on the gun itself, um, I've gone ahead and loaded up some paint in the cup. Uh, I've put a 2.0 millimeter latex tip on the gun. And let's see what uh, these knobs do when there's paint in the gun. So currently, right now, I have the uh, air cap in the horizontal position. So this is going to give us a vertical spray fan. And we'll open up the material knob just a little bit here on the back. And as you can see, vertical spray fan. Now if I open up that a little bit more, you can start seeing that more paint comes out. If I open, turn it a little more, You have a lot more. So you have a lot of control there with the gun. Let me also show you what um, the fan control does. So let me turn the material knob back in some. And I'll turn the fan control knob down into the horizontal position. And I'll turn the material control just a little. 
from off. And as you can see, it just gives us a really small fine dot. And then if I continue to open that, it'll give us more and more until it makes a big mess. So that is the, um, the spray fan control knob and then the material control knob. And then if we turn the air cap on the front of the gun to the vertical, it's going to give us a horizontal uh, or a, a flat for good for up and down uh, painting. So let me turn that in and then we'll back it off a couple turns. And as you can tell, we now have our horizontal spray fan. And normally when you're spraying, you want to be about six to eight inches away from the surface and you want to overlap um, by about 50% as you make your pass. So it's pretty basic. All right, so that's going to conclude our highlight of the Aerojet HVLP turbine spray gun. Um, as always, if you have any questions uh, regarding maybe this gun or any other piece of equipment that we may have on the site, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, the number is here located on the screen. It's also on our website. You can also send us an email to the contact button located on the website. And as always, I appreciate you watching.